What's up everybody, I'm IGP and welcome to Rock. Rock is a first person survival sandbox set on Mars. It's developed by Invisio Creations and Darewise Entertainment. Basically you're set to explore, build, and ultimately colonize the planet. It's a pretty deep crafting and building sandbox. I'm not sure the depth of exploration goes. I'm not sure that there's going to be any kind of alien life forms or anything of that sort. I didn't really delve too deep into the details. I just know that it is a survival game. It's in space. It's set on Mars. Something up my alley and I really enjoy these types of games and it's been a while since we've actually played any like this. So now the game comes out today. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, links in the description below. It's an early access so expect some bugs and expect some updates. Now I do know how to play. I went to the start guide, familiarized myself because I hate looking stupid all the time. All right, let's see. So we have a bunch of places open. Uh, I guess we'll join this one. Uh, number 11, North America. Okay, select a safe sector for landing. I guess over here, that looks pretty safe. These are severe conditions. Uh, enter your character's name, Andy. Pizzle. Uh, I do know the, the details, so I'm gonna tell you guys if you're gonna play along or you wanna know how to play in case you're wondering if you should pick it up or not. I'll let you know. Here's your inventory, pretty basic stuff. You have oxygen, your battery, which is your power all down here. On the bottom right corner, you have your food, hunger, and radiation. Temperatures and all that other stuff is, is measured as well. Now you keep up to date with this stuff pretty easily. Everything is a drag and drop type system. Uh, and you're going to find pods like this all over the place. It's going to give you special resources. But most of the time it's going to be resources that you can already make. Uh, if you make the right tools, which we're going to be doing. Now the depth of creation in this reminds me a lot of Factorio. So if you guys are into more simplistic survival games, you know, you might want to freshen up on your Factorio before you jump into this game. But uh, there, there's quite a bit of depth, not as much, but it's enough to, to separate this from the very simplistic survival games that are out there, such as Minecraft. Gotta love the Minecraft comparisons. Doesn't look anything like Minecraft, but first thing people do. This is our ultimate screwdriver. Do you see this thing? This will solve all of our problems ever. So we're going to use it and we're going to make a pickaxe because that pickaxe is going to help us get better materials to which we can craft better stuff. So already we have the options to build these five different things, which are like the base tools. The base tools then can build other things. They can assemble things. They can repair things. They can, uh, you know, deconstruct stuff to get better materials, whatever. The base stuff that we need, which you can actually do for most stuff that you create is, these are the things right here, but you can add extra stuff to make it more durable, to make it have better effects, to yield more resources, whatever. But I'm just gonna go with the medium rod here. Basically drag and drop. I know you can't, I should turn on my cursor. Hold on a second. There you go, now you can see my cursor. So I drag it onto here. There's a lot of drag and drop, as I mentioned. Do we have another spike? We don't. So let's just go ahead and make the pickaxe, so we can get materials. Any resource can be used to build certain things. You can make a pickaxe out of tin, or you can make it out of iron, and it will still yield the same type of thing. So here's a resource. They're obviously outlined. So right now we're getting nickel, and nickel will have the same properties, at least for building small uh, resources and tools and stuff, as like tin or iron or whatever else. You can pretty much interchange them uh, to build stuff. So now what we can do is go back to our screwdriver, left or right click, whichever, and we can make something like an assembly tool. An assembly tool is going to help us build uh, things that need multiple types of resources together. But at first I think we actually need the hammer, don't we? Yeah, we need the hammer. So we have to make a small rod and a small bar, which I actually have conveniently. And the crafting menus are interchangeable, so if I skip over to the pickaxe, I can still mine while obviously there's a little bar at the bottom showing me the progress of that build. So we're gonna go back to our inventory here. We got a hammer. We're gonna put it right there. And now we can open up the hammer menu, which lets us build all kinds of different base materials that we then use to compile in the assembler or the assembly tool to then compile into something else and just it's this hierarchy of crafting. All right, so let's see what we should be making. Let me get, I'm gonna use this pickaxe completely up. Uh, because we can rebuild it. I'm gonna make a wrench so we can do that. I think these resources or these resource deposits are unlimited currently. Again, this is very early stages of the game. All right, there we go. So we're out and we're gonna go back here and the wrench we're gonna need a small rod and a medium rod. So we have a medium rod. All we need is the small rod, which we can make with the hammer. We go over here. S and M obviously is going to 
uh, change depending on if it's small or medium. Get it? What it's asking for is any material can be used which meets the requirement stats, which is basically any anything like nickel whatever so you drag it over again and it will load all of the nickel that it can possibly hold i think into the hammer itself so the hammer is going to hold this material it's a weird concept but basically that way you can craft as many as you want instead of just one and this will actually cycle between whatever so i can switch to a disc and make a disc at the same time using the same materials it's like a having a furnace in most survival games and you just store a bunch of shit in there and it will just continuously make stuff so we go back to our Emergency screwdriver is the name. Okay, so now for this one, it requires a specific type to fix. But we need NV, which I think usually starts out right away. You, you, every time you spawn, it's in a place like this, I think. Or at least I picked the same spot when I, when I uh, you know, practiced the game. So while we're over here, I'll show you. This is the power generator. This is going to be endless power for the most part, and you just press E, and your power refills back to 100. There's solar panels up there that are going to draw in the energy for you, so at night it might be a little bit harder, I think, but I have no idea, honestly. So whenever you hear the beeping, likely it's a deposit of something somewhere. Oxygen you're going to collect like this, it's literally just going to be in its gaseous form, <laughs> and you stick it in a container and then suck it up whenever you need it, you know, it's weird. So I'm going to head over here real quick. Try to find some better base resources. In the meantime, let's see what else we can actually make. We can make an assembly tool. We do. We definitely need that. So we need a rod and a small rod and a small spike. Switch over to the hammer. Small rod. It's it's a weird concept. You can only craft one specific item at a time within a specific tool. Uh, if you need multiple different ty types of items, you can't craft them all at once. There might be something they change in the future. I don't know, but. Switch back to this, and let's get our damn assembly tool. Alright, so now we got an awesome-ass assembly tool. That's gonna be fun. I'll put that to five. We can build better stuff. So this is- this basically takes over the, um, the screwdriver. So we actually don't need to have the first one here. We're gonna just drag that right over, and then put that back into our inventory. We can break that down or something. The assembly tool is basically the tier two of the screwdriver. So now we can build stuff like portable electron- I don't know what it says. Portable electronic something. Oh, it's the purification of water. We can make a soldering iron, um, another assembly tool if we need to, a utility knife, a tile mold, which is going to- which this is where the factorio part comes in. When we make the tile mold, we can just deposit a bunch of resources in and it will automate. And then it'll just constantly make tiles. The tiles, which you can make right here, are the building blocks of everything. Uh, so actually what I'm going to do, since we're going to likely find more stuff, I'm going to craft an infinite amount, or as much as I possibly can, of tiles. And then the tiles will help me build our habitat, because that's one of the first things we need to do is secure a nice place before everyone starts raiding us. So this is another powered location. This is, I think, a place you can actually spawn. And these resources replenish, I believe. Ooh, a rad shield. Don't know what that does, but I will take it. Ah, okay, so we got some envy here, which now we can use to... Yes. Clear this pickaxe up. We definitely need to repair it. There we go. Now we can get a bunch more resources. Successful repair. Drag it back to number two. And we are golden. All right, so another power generator. I might as well... Get some power back. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use the uh, pickaxe as a weapon. It's strictly, strictly just for uh, mining resources. You can't even swing it. I know it swings sometimes, but that's just, trust me, that's just, uh, just a bug. So, though, I believe there's supposed to be weather conditions. Again, I have no idea if there's going to be, like, alien life here if you go too far. Uh, we can't spawn in those other locations, as you saw, but we might be able to travel there. Once we get enough stuff built up, as you saw in the intro scene or like the, the cinematic like intro to the game, you can build pretty much anything. The depth of of the building is pretty it's pretty substantial. And see, my oxygen is kind of low now, so I'm actually going to go into my inventory and drag my oxygen into here. That should fill it up. There you go. And that's basically all you have to do. The water you can't use in this form. This is just the base material form of it, so you can't actually drink it. For whatever reason, you can stuff the the gaseous oxygen into your mouth and breathe, or your helmet or whatever, but you can't put the water in. So once again, I'm going to bring this down to its bare, bare minimum, or just break it. I might as well. So, uh, I don't think I have enough to repair this. 
Probably not. It's going to require the same type, right? In V. Yeah. So it needs 12 and 11. That's fine. We got three. We'll find some more. All right. So we got some tiles. I don't know where I want to build my base. Literally anywhere is fine. In fact, let's just do it right here. Okay. So basically just rotate it and that's it. There aren't any floors. There's not really like anything else specific. It's literally just tiles. There we go. So we can only have a 2000 tile habitat so far. So what I want to do is I want to go, let's go here. I can craft a door, right? I need to do two hinges and two medium sheets to make that happen. Whoa. Oh, well, Osiris New Dawn. I see what's happening. Oh, I see my name. Hey, buddy. Well, then hopefully we don't get hit. What is that? What was that? Oh, okay, never mind. I don't want to know what it is. I lied. Oop. Don't worry, I see it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. What up? Okay, so yeah, they, they respawn. Okay, there we go. We got some envy. That's good. Uh, can I partially? Can I partially redo this? Ah, damn it. Can't do it. That's fine. Uh, oh, we got some rods and such. That's good. Uh, can we get some envy? There we go. We got some envy. Let's do it. Pair this thing. Let's try not to get water. I don't think we need any more water. What we do need is... Okay, so how much is it to repair the hammer? I need more envy. Ah, just one short. It's getting kind of dark out here. Let's get some of these resources. Cast it to right? I don't even know what that is. I need to build a pickaxe that has a better yield rate. I need to build some of those extra little tools there try and make that happen. I think when we went to assembly, we were going to make a door, right? So we need two hinges and two sheets, uh, two medium sheets. So let's get just one envy. That's all I need. Just one envy. I do like the spawn rate of all this stuff, although it kind of doesn't make sense, but these deposits, I don't know how they're being sent, honestly. I'll take the oxygen though. Eventually I will die. Carry weight. Co wait, oxygen... Okay, fine. Oxygen weighs me down a bunch, apparently. Okay, I could probably go ahead and, and still use the hammer, but just make the stuff I need first, like the two medium sheets. Oh, there we are. Ooh, 966. The item is over the weight capacity? What? Oh, the oh, I can shift and click it, right? Enter number. Okay, let's do uh, 400. Yes? Over the weight capacity. Okay, can I do 100? How much does that weigh? There we go. Okay, so let's just get two sheets, please. All right, so we got that, and then we need two hinges. There we go. Basically, I just want to get this done um, and have a nice little setup, but automated tile making thing. We can do that too. As I mentioned, I want to make that in this episode. There we go. Craft the door. Perfect. Where is our little, little foundation? Where did we put that? Boy, I should have had a... Should have had a beacon somewhere. Okay, so with the assembler, we need to make the tile mold. So we need one medium box, one medium bar. Okay, well, let's at least, at least build the door. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Uh, and then tiles we will put up, up high, like so. We don't need a window or anything. We just seriously need to make sure we have a nice little space that no one else could get into. In fact... I can't lock it just yet. No one's out here anyway. I don't know how many people were on this server. I think like six maybe or nine out of potentially 12. So it really isn't that bad. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We need some more envy. So we got to go back one more time. See if anything respawns. Oh, I hear something. Where are you? Are you up there? How in the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it can only go straight. Oh, there's a there's a box out there. That's cool. Oh, there's one there too. Oh, I can get up there. Nice. Oxygen. Really? Really? That's it? You suck. I feel like there might have been someone else around here. I don't remember getting this one. I do not remember picking that up. I don't even know if it's PvP, to be honest. I don't know if we can fight each other. I haven't even tried. I haven't even tried making a weapon or anything. Oh, yay. A box. Will you be Envy? Will you be- Yes! Envy! Alright. I have no more materials, but I can reboot this. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we got a hammer back. Now, we can make 
the medium box, right? I think is what it was. The tile mold. Medium box. Yeah, everything's medium. And two medium bars. We can do that. All right, there's the two medium bars. Now, where do I build a box? Uh-oh. I think it'll tell me, actually. Let me get to it real quick. Uh, tile mold is made... Uh, oh, I need a soldering iron, which I can make. I need a small rod, coil, and a wire. Okay, so let's make the coil and wire. See, this is the depth, man. This is nuts. There we go. Okay, so now back to the assembly tool. Make this soldering iron. Can I, like, double-click? I wish I could double-click. It's not working, though. So one spike is fine. Wire, coil, and the small rod. Soldering iron. Woo! And, oh, there we go. So medium box. I need three medium sheets to make this. God! Okay, got our three medium sheets right here. That's going to be our medium box, to which we can then take to the assembly and freaking make this, this, uh, the mold, the tile mold. And now we can just go to the hammer and start making some tiles. Ooh, some stuff respawned too. Very, very good. I need this pickaxe. I need to get a better resource than this heavy-ass cassetrite. Whatever's going on with that thing, it's ridiculous. Let me put my oxygen on, because I'm dying. Uh, I need to recharge my, my, I need to recharge my stuff. There we go. All better. We're a little thirsty. I don't know how to make, uh, watery just yet. Another rad shield. I guess that will help me against radiation? Uh-oh. I'm lagging. Don't do this to me. Starting to lag. So I realize the problem now. I realize the problem. The problem is, is that this was built with a thing that I don't have enough of. Uh, so I should essentially make a better pickaxe that is instead using stuff that I have. Okay, so we're gonna make a pickaxe. Uh, I think we have enough to do this. If we have two small spikes, which we do, we can double whatever that means. <laughs> Cast to try it. Okay, so there's one for envy, two for envy. Crap, it's all envy. All right, never mind. I gotta make small spikes and a medium rod out of cassetrite. Okay, now we can use cassetrite. Yes. Yes, and then the medium rod made of castrite as well. There we go. So now if we have to repair it, you know, we just can use the stuff we already have an abundance of. Smart thinking. Smart thinking. I am a genius. Oh, I can't get it. What? Extraction fell advising the upgrade of strength and hardness of mining tools. Okay, well, I, I thought I did. That's my fault. Oh, you know what might be a problem? Maybe I made it terrible because it's bladed. Maybe I made it much weaker than before. Where is the other pickaxe? Where was the other one that's broken? Here it is. Let's compare the two by dragging it next to each other. So, we're looking at weight efficient mining capability is 6, whereas this one's mining capability is 11. Okay, so that's fuck. Why did I do that? There we go. Speaking of, let's get this thing back. Uh the where are you at? Broken ass one here. There we go. This should be easy. This is getting uh, a little bit tedious, I guess. Uh, these things break super fast. But then again, you know, I'm chopping away at freaking rocks all day, so. Sustenance. Yeah, I know. I'm dying. I haven't found food. I haven't found water. Apparently, I can find this stuff in these boxes, so. All you've been giving me is oxygen. Did you see how much that oxygen weighs, dude? That's nuts. So once we get this habitat built, we're gonna have to start making some stuff to make food and water. That's like super important. Oh, Cassie tried again. I don't need all this. God damn it. I should have enough tiles. I think, yeah, I got 10 tiles. That should be enough. And I guess the crowbar is for, you know, deconstructing already built platforms. Oh, who, who broke my door? What? Somebody seriously broke into my door? For what? Am I mistaken? Did something else happen or what? Dude, that's dumb. That's incredibly dumb. Now I gotta make a freaking door again? Two hinges and two medium sheets. Let's do it, I guess. There we go. So we got our door back. Apparently. And now we should put down our mold. Our tile mold. And then we can fit all of that shit in. Put that right there. There we go. So we can... Uh, put, I think, what is it? Okay, 29,000 it holds. I should be able to hold all of it. There we go. Now, infinitely craft my shit. Thank you. 
Now we have a door as well. So we can seal this up. Why can't- why would I do that when it only takes- what is happening? Why are you being so difficult? That's weird. So can I use the crowbar to pick up? Yes! Why? What happened? I could put a door there. Okay. That's weird. So I guess I'll have to pick all of these up. Something is glitching out and I hate it right now. Stop it! Alright, we got seven tiles. Can I use them? Okay, so I have to- oh, I gotta take these down first. Oh, they have different- they have different textures when they use different materials. That's cool. I mean, that's kind of- I guess that's obvious, but... So we are officially out of material. So, I should be able to, though. I should be able to finish closing this off if I just grab the rest of these. Some of these I can't pick up, and I'm not sure why. It's actually kind of weird. I can build out on this, I just need these right now. You know, to cover up my freaking building. Thank you. So there's three items I can't... Oh, there we go. Interaction failed. Nope. Wait, I got it! Yay! So it's just one. That's fine. There we go! Yay! It is done! Can I close this? Yes! And I can lock myself in. Hell yes, son! Okay, well, I don't have any more materials for you, I don't think. So... Unfortunately, yeah. So there we have it. Now we have our first signs of a habitat, and we got our automated workbench that's gonna make us some tiles once we go out and get some more material. But we have a safe haven right now, so hopefully this all works out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy Rock and you want to see some more, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button, let me know in the comment section below, and of course if you want to try it out for yourself, link is in the description below as well. You should give it a try, it's always better to try it out for yourself than judging it by what other people are doing in the game. Anyway, thanks again for watching, I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye